Hello. In this episode, I'm going to explain more about reporting. In the previous episodes, I've shown you how to create report pages. You can find the report pages in the workspace report. Right at the top, you see the main toolbar with the most important reporting functions. Beneath the main toolbar is the report template explorer. This explorer contains all report templates. The software displays a preview if you click on a template. Further below is the Report Page Explorer. You can find here all your report pages as a preview thumbnail. You can scale the size of the preview thumbnails with Ctrl and the mouse wheel. You can also change the order with drag and drop. In addition, you can also rename the report page simply by clicking the name with the left mouse button. Right in the middle is the preview of the report pages. At the bottom, you find the toolbar with various additional tools for report pages. At the right side are the properties of report elements. With the button on the left of the main toolbar, you can restore the 3D view from the content of the report page. The software switches automatically back to the workspace inspection, displaying the content of the report pages. You can also drag and drop a report page from the Overview Explorer into the 3D view to restore it. Therefore, you do not have to switch to the workspace report. If you have changed the content of the 3D view, you can override the report page. Reconfigure report page allows you to change the parameters of report pages without restoring and overwriting. For instance, this report page was created based on a local best fit alignment and a maximum legend scaling of 0.4 mm. In the current 3D view, another alignment is active and also the legend scaling is different. If you switch now the alignment and legend to from current content, the software updates the report page. This function becomes very handy if you have to update multiple report pages at once. For example, if you would like to change the scaling of 20 pages. The project keywords can contain additional information of your project. You can use them, for example, for the title page of your report. You can also export your report as a PDF. Please find more export options for report under File, Export, Report. If you want to present your reports in a meeting, the screen presentation is a very nice option. It displays all report pages in full screen and also allows you to navigate through the pages. You can also use the report templates directly to create a report page. You can create a title page via drag and drop from the report template explorer to the report explorer. Or the table of contents. It is also possible to change the template of an existing report page or to change the format afterwards. This was the last episode of the GOMINSPECT video tutorial series. We hope you enjoyed this training course and wish you exciting and productive work with GOMINSPECT. Goodbye.